Jed here to demonstrate how to check your latency by performing a command line ping test. Voice latency refers to a slight delay as data moves from one phone system to another. During a phone call, latency may cause a delay in the audio being transferred. If you are experiencing choppy, distorted, or delayed audio, you may have a problem with network instability. Running a command line ping test can help determine if that is the cause of the problem. You need to run this test at the exact time you're experiencing an audio issue. If you can't catch it in the act, we highly recommend using the GoToConnect test tool since it runs the same type of test periodically. The command line ping test can be run for your wide area network, which is your internet connection, or your local area network. That is your business network. I'll show you how to test both in this video, and I'll start with the wide area connection. If that test comes back with favorable results, you won't need to test your local area network. The process of running this test is a little bit different depending on if you're using a Mac or Windows-based computer. For Mac users, open Terminal from your apps, type the phrase you see here in the field, and then press Return. For Windows 10 users, press the Windows key plus R to open a run box. Then type CMD and then click OK. Once that opens, type the phrase that you see here. I've already typed in that phrase for a computer running Windows. After pressing enter, it will take a moment for the test to run. I'll jump ahead to once that test is done. Let's take note of some critical numbers. You may want to write these results down to compare them with another test we will run in a moment. Also, be sure to keep this command prompt window open since we'll come back to it in a moment. To work correctly over the internet, you need to meet some requirements for your voice service. First, packet loss should be less than 0.5%. Second, ping should be less than 100 milliseconds. Finally, gaps should be less than 10 milliseconds between the minimum and average ping times regarding jitter. Before you can run the command line ping test to your local area network, you need to know your default gateway ID. To do that, you need to run a specific command on your computer. Let's go back to our command prompt window. For Windows users, type in the command ipconfig and then press enter. For Mac users, type ifconfig and press enter. Here is your default gateway ID. Please take note of that information since you'll need it for the command line ping test. Since you already have a command prompt open, you can run the test here. Type in the phrase you see on the screen, but change out default gateway ID with the actual numbers for your system and then press enter. It will take a moment for the test to run. I'll jump ahead to once that is done. Now that we have this data, let's compare it against the results from earlier when we pinged google.com. Once you see the results, compare them with your own. I took a screenshot from earlier so that we can see both sets of results at once. Let's first examine what to do if the ping test to your local area network looks good, but the test to google.com shows packet loss and jitter. If that is the case, you've got issues with latency. Here are a few suggestions to try. You can do things like reducing bandwidth for non-work essential tasks, implement quality of service strategies, talk to your account manager about adding our SD-WAN product, as well as contact your internet service provider. Now, if both tests look bad, we have some other suggestions for you. First, reboot your phone and network equipment. Depending on what devices you have, that includes your modem, router, and switch. Second, if you're using Wi-Fi, try using a hardwired connection. Third, replace cabling that may be faulty. If available, upgrade your ethernet cables from CAT5 to CAT6. Fourth, if needed, replace defective hardware devices. Finally, if the other suggestions have not worked, we recommend that you contact your internet service provider. That's all there is to using a command line ping test to determine your latency.